Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Skyrim's special edition. As always my name's Camel and in this video we will be acquiring the elusive glass bow of the stag prince. We will also be checking out its weird enchantment and you will need the Dragonborn DLC installed if you are following this guide on the standard Skyrim but as Skyrim's special edition comes with all the DLCs no need to worry. Now the glass bow of the stag prince is the prevailing weapon choice for the Pathfinder, Fudge Muppet's newest build. I couldn't more highly recommend you check out out their Pathfinder build and subscribe to their channel for supreme role-playing builds, uploaded weekly. The newest of which, of course, being the Pathfinder, a cute little Bosma babe who wields nothing other than the glass bow of the Stag Prince. So go check her out, link in the description, and give Michael and Scott a sensational hello from me. So now you're getting into her, let's get into the bow. Firstly, we'll need to come to Solstheim and to the Ram Shackle Trading Post. On the map, it can be found here, just to the south of Crag Rumez. And despite its name, we won't find any chained down sheep. We'll need to come here between the hours of midnight and 6am. Only between these hours will the elusive merchant be here. Fella Selvain is a merchant who is meant to sell the bow, but never actually does, because he has it equipped. As we can see, it's here on his back. I don't need to point it out. It's clearly highlighted by the arrows. Now, to all of you meathead murderers out there, no, you can't kill him. He's marked as essential. So we won't sell it, and we can't kill him. But there are a couple of ways to get our hands on the glass bow of the Stag Prince. Save the game before trying any of these. Firstly, in the pickpocket skill tree, there is a perk called misdirection. <laughs> I think my ex had it. Which allows us to pickpocket equipped weapons. Obviously, provided we have the misdirection perk, we will be able to pickpocket it from Phallus Selvain. This will mark the bow as stolen, however, and isn't ideal. This next method will allow us to purchase the bow from him normally. So, we'll need to have the second word to the bend will shout, which is acquired during the early stages of the Dragonborn main quests. So I just want to make that clear, we will need the bend will shout with at least the second word active ready to go, so we can bend the will of humans. Next step, we will need to pickpocket him, but instead of stealing, we will need to place an iron dagger into his inventory. So as we can see, we've now put that dagger into his inventory. Now what we need to do is attack Phallus. He'll get up and equip the iron dagger. Then we want to hit him with the bend will shout. He will have now unequipped the glass bow of the stag prince, equipping the dagger, and will also be made a neutral character once again, thanks to the shout. We can now barter with him normally, and as you can see, we can purchase the glass bow of the stag prince from him. And for anyone wondering, I attempted to reverse pickpocket it from him normally, but I could not get that to work. The two methods that I just showed you are the only two methods that I could actually get to work. So now we have it, let's take a peek there, sunshine. So the glass bow of the Stag Prince. It has a base damage of 16, which is one whole damage higher than the base damage of a normal glass bow, ranking it in between a glass bow and an ebony bow. It has a firing speed of 0.65 arrows per second. This leaves us with a base DPS of 10.4. Now because of its fire speed and its base damage, the glass bow of the Stag Prince actually actually has a higher base DPS than Ebony and Daedric bows. The only standard bow that bests it is the Dragonbone bow. Definitely something to consider when choosing a bow. It has a weight of 14, a very oddly low value of 375. Its value is about one third the value of a normal glass bow. But if you buy the bow, this is in your favor essentially making it three times cheaper to purchase than a standard glass bow. One of the devs was looking out for you. It can be upgraded with refined malachite ingot and also benefits from the glass smithing perk, which doubles the improvements made on the bow. And now to the enchantment, and this is exactly what it says on the bow. The wielder receives an increasingly powerful blessing for every 20 animals killed by the bow. Well, shit. That's less descriptive than a Tinder bio. But just like a swipe right, I'm here to save the day. So we know the enchantment increases with every 20 animals killed, but what is it increasing? It's a five point boost to health and stamina, or in this case, stagina. Nope, nothing. Okay. It will start with zero. After killing 20 innocent, cute little animals, the enchantment will go up to five points, and it continues to increase by five points until maxing out at 100 animals killed, leaving us with a max enchantment fortification of 25 points to health and 25 points to stamina, while the bow is equipped. And I'll admit, it's a weird thing for a bow to give a stats fortification. Although weird, it is a very unique enchantment, and although unique, it's not super cool or crazy. 
At the end of it all, it's just a general stat buff. But the enchantment is actually really cool for low to medium level characters, where a 25 point stat buff will make a difference. The glass bow of the Static Prince also has that nice high base damage, again with a base DPS higher than every other type of standard bow except the Dragonbone Bow. So just at a weapon damage alone, it's already a very good choice for low to medium level characters. You can also theoretically get this weapon at level 1. If you have the wherewithal to get this early on, you'll get the enchantment to full power in no time, and you'll also have a very powerful bow that you don't need to swap out for quite some time. Unlike a fish, it's not a scaled weapon, so acquiring it at any level will result in you receiving the same weapon. So a great choice for an early Maskman build. And if you have another bow you want to use instead, totally up to you. Just don't expect to find any paths. The title of the bow is also a reference to the Daedric Prince Hercene, who is commonly depicted wearing a stag's skull on his head. Additionally, it is purchased from a merchant on Solstheim, where Morrowind's Blood Moon expansion occurred, which predominantly featured Scene. So all in all, a cool bow. Awesome choice for early to mid game archers, comes with a rather strange enchantment which quite appropriately might leave you in a bit of a rut. It's fairly easy to get, but the best part is the base DPS, which is staggering. Oh dear. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my guide for the glass bow of the Stag Prince. Again, I would highly recommend you head over to Fudge Muppet and check out their newest build, the Pathfinder. Not only to hear their angelic voices, but also to see the glass bow of the Stag Prince in action and incorporated into a lore-driven role-playing build, the Pathfinder. Link again is in the description. If you did enjoy this video and you would like to see guides similar to this one, please consider subscribing and also be sure to check out the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Skyrim Special Edition Guides playlist where you can select the videos that you wish to watch freely. Or you can check in the description where there will be singular links. Speaking of single, hit me up on Twitter bitches. Link will also be in the description or you can search Camelworks on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure as always having you here while we slay cute little animals. I'll see you very shortly in the next video.